In this series, we've been looking at AI and machine learning and exploring how it all works from a very high level, with the goal to help you understand roughly how it works so you can cut through the hype and begin to ideate how it might work for your specific scenario. I'm of the belief that the technique of machine learning that we've been discussing could be immensely powerful in creating new solutions to problems. We've explored how a neural network can see which really means that the computer can understand the contents of an image beyond just storing the data within it, so that it knows that this is a shoe, this is a cat, and this is a healthy retina. The uses for this really can't be understated, from medical diagnoses to detecting pollution, like these young people did with Air Cognizer, or crop diseases, like this young woman in Uganda, the possibilities are endless. But AI and machine learning are not just limited to vision. The same principle can be applied to sound. So a machine could identify what it hears, and you can only imagine the applications of that. Or language, where a machine can understand the sentiment in text. And this can go way beyond things like spam filters or spotting toxicity. How about an intelligent agent that can route calls because it can understand what the user is saying? Or a personal favorite story, and this is one that I was involved with. I worked with the people from a famous TV show to build a model that generates stories and dialogue for their show and the characters. Now, they were very much here, at the peak of inflated expectations, imagining that an AI could write a whole episode. But if we go back to this diagram, and we show that we have data and we have answers, and an AI model can figure out the patterns between them, we can see one limitation of this is that it can't really create anything new. It can only match existing data to figure out patterns. So maybe it could determine that if you say hello to a character, then they might respond with hi, hey, what's up, or hello, campers, or something like that. But that could also be used to train models with how characters speak. So we can put them into a new situation and see how they would actually speak to each other. Now, that's still not a story. Uh, but when the actors who played the characters in the TV show got to read these scripts, they ended up having a lot of trouble. And as the show was a sci-fi show and had lots of made-up words, the models even started making up words of their own, like facaft, Graysonians, and jeracking. We all laughingly fell into the trough of disillusionment. But then one actor said, wait a minute. He shared that one of the toughest parts of his job was preparing for auditions for new jobs. It's expensive for him to hire a writer to create stuff for him that will help him prepare, but what if an AI model like this could do that? And what if it could give him difficult sci-fi dialogue so he could practice and he could start chewing on that? That would help him immensely. He found an entirely new solution to a problem, and he started to climb up the slope of enlightenment to the plateau of productivity. He's not an AI genius, nor a programmer, nor a mathematician. He's an actor, and he figured out how he could use AI to make his life and others like him better with an application that just wasn't possible before the advent of machine learning. And that brings us full circle. I really hope you've enjoyed these videos. So please chat in the comments below, and I'd love to hear your ideas about what you want to do with AI and ML, and how you're going to climb up that slope of enlightenment and come up with new applications that can change your world, and who knows, maybe change the world for the better for millions of people. I'm Lawrence Moroni, and thank you so much for watching this series. So please like, share, and subscribe to the Google Developers channel, and I'll see you online.